All right, welcome to bar. My name is Jenny and you're gonna bring your own music and we're gonna have a wonderful time. All right, here we go. I don't know if I can hear that. We're gonna find out. All right. You're gonna start standing upright today. So you're just gonna have your feet a little bit wider than your hips, and your head's gonna go side to side, rolling through the center. Nothing crazy. Side to side, really working through that neck. All righty, and then bring it to center. Here we go, ear to ear, ear to ear. Ear to shoulder, and up, shoulder, and up. Shoulder, and up, shoulder, and up. Roll the shoulders back, shoulder, and up. Shoulder and up, keep going. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Good. Good, bend your knees a little bit, roll the shoulders back. And bend and roll. Good, roll it out. <sighs> Take nice deep breaths. A few more. Last one. Good. All righty. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, you're gonna fold over. And then bend your knees and roll on up. Good, so flat back forward. And then roll it up for four, three, two, and one. Flat back down. Roll it up, four, three, two, and one. Flat back down. Roll it, four, three, two, go again. Flat back down. Good, and roll, two, three, four. So you want a little bit of a pause at the bottom, get that stretch. And then roll, just working through your spine. Good, again, take it down. And roll it up. So we're gonna take your feet just a hair wider if you need to. If your hands can touch the ground where you're at, stay there. And roll down, or excuse me, flat back down, place your hands on the ground, bend your knees, let your hips drop. Okay, get up, nice stretch. Good, bend your knees and stretch. And then bend your knees and stretch. Good, and then roll all the way back up. Nice, taking those feet nice and wide, a little bit wider. Sorry, I'm taking it, I'm like going, jumping ahead as nice as self over here. All right, so you're gonna take it up and over. Feet are still like just a little bit wide and then flat back here. Good, and then you're gonna come down, take your other arm up and let it bring you all the way up. Good, take it up and over. And then flat back here. And then drop it down, take the other arm up and bringing you up, yes. Take it over. And then flat back here. And then take it down, other arm brings you all the way up. Again, take it over. Ooh, nice stretch. Flat back here. And take it down, swing, bring you all the way back up. Good, taking it over. Flat back here. And take it down and up and over. Excellent, going again. Flat back. And taking it down. Up and over, guys, take it over. Flat back. And take it down. Swing up. Good. Take it over. Flat back. And take it down. 
up and over. Good. Take it out. Flat back. Take it down. Up. Last time. Here we go. Five. Flat back. Take it down. Bring it up. All right. Now your feet are a little bit wider. And heels in, toes out. Yeah. All right. So you're just going to bend, reach over, same side. Reach over and up. Good. Reach over and up. We're going to make our arms a little more complicated. So you're going to reach over and out, over and out, over and out, over and out. This time you're going to stay over, hold. And then lift your heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. And take it to the other side. Over and out. Good. Over and out. Nice bend in your knee. Nice and deep. Good. Mm -hmm. Got a few more. Nice. This time you're going to stay. Good. And heel lifts. Here we go. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. And bring it on up. Good. Walk your feet just a hair, a little wide there. And you're going to drop and lower. Here we are back again. Taking some deep breaths. Awesome. Last one. Cool. Alrighty, so it should get you pretty, at least like stuff is moving, right? Alrighty, and then I didn't tell you, but go ahead and grab some hand weights or some cans of food or water bottles if you got them. Just run and grab those. And then if you have like a hand towel or a stretch band, that is also what you wanna grab. So a hand towel will work just fine, but if you have like a stretchy band or a belt, that's gonna be great too. So you can grab upwards of like five pounds or whatever you have. I'm not gonna to bother to get my five pounds out, but you know, if you have it, that's what you want. So we're gonna really work on our, the backside of our body today for a really quite a hot second, okay? We'll get the other stuff as well, but I really wanna get the backside of our body, get some nice back going here, glutes, all the things, okay? So we're just going to finish warming up now that you have your implements. You take your hands out, flex your hands. You're going to cross and out, cross and out. So I really want you to squeeze your back together as you do this. Squeeze and in, squeeze and in. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and in. Squeeze and in. Good. Squeeze and in. Squeeze and in. Good. Squeeze in. Squeeze it in, squeeze, come together, squeeze, come together, squeeze, in, squeeze, and in, good, squeeze, and in, squeeze, and in, good, four, three, two, one, good, let that go, all right, we're going to go up and down, so take your hands facing, Front, yes. So up and then down into kind of like your hip pockets here. So go up and down. Really think about squeezing your back. Up, engage down. Good. Up, engage down. Up, engage down. Up, engage down. Good again. Up, pull it down, up, pull it down. Good, 
Next one, you're gonna take your, grab your thumb here. And you're gonna try to pull your hands apart as they come up, bend your elbows, squeeze, squeeze your elbows down and hands drop again. All right, grab your thumb, pull it apart, squeeze your shoulder blades down, squeeze those elbows in together like you're hulking it out and hands are here. Grab that thumb, take it overhead and bring it down. Elbows continue down, hands continue down. Good, take it apart, take those elbows down, take it down further and together one more each side. Pulling your apart as you take it up, finding some of that shoulder mobility and squeeze, if there's popping, it's fine. And last time, take it up, bring it down, elbows in and drop. Good, kind of shake that out. We're gonna go all through those exercises one more time and then we're gonna start moving into picking up some of those weights if you got them, okay? Just take your arms out to the side, spread your fingers nice and wide. Cross, squeeze your shoulders together. Cross, squeeze them together in the back. So not up towards your ears, don't squeeze like this. Okay, squeeze them together behind you. Excellent. Should be really getting the middle of our back, our upper back here. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, release your arms. All right, take your hands out to the side here, palms face the front, and then take it up. Squeeze it down, engage down, take it up and engage, take it down. Like you're trying to squeeze something together here. Take it up, squeeze it down. All I can think of is like a, like a wine opener, right? Like squeeze it down, right? Kind of take it up, squeeze it down. Good, take it up. Squeeze it down, or maybe you're chopping down a really difficult tree with shear cutters, you know? I don't know. Squeeze it down. Those weeds that somehow become trees overnight, we all got them at some point or another. Good, and squeeze it down. Someone else does your yard work. Just engage, squeeze it down. Good for you and take it down one more time take it up and take it down okay last time we got to do this and then we'll be all warmed up go ahead and grab that thumb pull your hands apart here as you take it overhead squeeze those elbows down squeeze them again in and then drop it down yeah take it up step one step two and down good this is technically step one here and elbows down, elbows in, down, good. So up, and elbows down, elbows down again. Even here, you're getting like the back of your arms, right? Okay, taking it up, here we are. Oh, down again, one more. And down, 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 awesome. Kind of shake that out and then find your hand weights or your cans or your water bottles, whatever you've got. Alrighty. So pretty simple. We just have some deadlifts here. So you're just going to roll those shoulders back and then lean over. So nice flat back. Let me just turn to the side so you can see. So I'm like lean over right here. Whenever I lean over, I don't drop down, right? So roll your shoulders back, keep them there. Okay. Hands are here. I'm just going to fly them open and then back up. So this uh, over time is gonna get back in here as well and our back all around. So lean over, out to the side and back. Good, lean over, weight should be more into your toes here. Belly button into your spine and back up. 
Good, leaning over. Knees with shoulder blades together. Good. So you want to not go so fast. Nice and slow. Belly button in. Squeeze. And if your weights are not super heavy, squeeze your fists around your weights. Okay. Nice. Good. Belly button in towards your spine. And if there's nothing in your hands, you just are going to squeeze your fists as hard as you can as you open those arms out to the side. And same thing we did with the warm up, where you can use a lot of muscle engagement without anything in your hands if you just engage your muscles. Yeah, you can do a lot without weights. It just takes a little more concentration, potentially a little more effort. Again. Try not to clench your teeth if that's a thing that you do. <sighs> One more. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to have some bent elbows here. Yes. So roll those shoulders back. Good. Nice deadlift. Elbows go wide. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Back in and down. Okay. So actually, sorry, your hands are going to turn and face this way. So take it down, row up, down, and stand. Good. Down, row up, take it down and stand. Good. Down, squeeze up, down, and in. So don't have your head up with me. Just go ahead and look towards the ground. Nice long neck. And up. Good. Down, really squeeze your fists. Down, and up. Good. Down, row, down, and up. Again, down, row, down. Where's your belly button? Okay, don't let your belly hang out. Weight is still in your toes. Using the back of your legs. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pretend like your shoulders are what's going to get your elbows high. Mm -hmm. Instigate that movement from squeezing your back. And then squeeze a little extra whenever you finish them. Good. One more. Good. And let it go. Awesome. All right. One more thing standing. Woo! Back of your legs. And they're like, oh, you better stretch us later. All right. So you can take a hand towel or if you have a band, that's going to be a little more effective, but the towel's still going to work great. Yes. So go ahead and turn. Doesn't matter which direction you face. Bring your feet slightly together. So your knees are together, essentially. And then you're going to bend your knees, send those hips back. And again, you want that core in. You're going to take those arms overhead. Okay, and then option one, let me show you option. The one that I would like you to do is that you're going to take that towel just right behind your shoulder blades, and squeeze those elbows down. Okay, that's what I would love for you to do. Depending on your shoulder mobility, though, you might have to be right here and pulling it toward your chest and elbows go back. Yes, so wherever you're at is fine, but here we go. Hands up, take it back. And down, elbows down, and up, down, and up, down, and up. You got this. So if like your towel doesn't allow you to go super far, that's fine. Do what you can. You grabbed a belt, that was really smart. But don't walk your hands so far out that it becomes easy, right?
Try to knit those ribs in towards your spine. Good, and release that. Take it up. Woohoo! Fun times, right? Okay, we might come back to that, but I want to make sure that we get all the things in. So we still have a little bit of back to go. And then we're going to do some cardio at the bar. What? Okay. But for now, here we are on your belly. You're going to keep working into that back. So, what I want you to do is you're going to take your hands into your lovely diamond shape out in front of you. All right, you're going to lift up, extend those arms fully, pull them back, take it down. Good, lift up, hands are by your shoulders actually. Extend out, bring it in, take it down. Good, lift up, extend, squeeze those shoulders back and down. Good, lift up, squeeze, extend, squeeze again and down. Good. Lift up, extend, in and down. Lift up, extend, in and down. Keep going up, extend, in and down. Lifting up, extend, in, and down again lift up extend out bring it in and down this time it's up extend stay up <laughs> extend and four and three and two and one good bring it down Bring those hands just right under your face. You're going to work on your glutes here a little bit. So pressing at the tops of your feet. And you're going to start with your right leg, just lifting up and lower, up and lower. Good. Up, lower, up and lower. Keep going for five, four, three, two. One, all right, lift it up and keep it up. See if you can pulse it a little higher, pulse, 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 pulse. And let it go, excellent. All right, moving to the other side. Here we go, up and down, ready? Up and down, up and down, down. <laughs> And down again. And lower for five. Nice and high with control. Four. Three. Don't just let your leg fall. Two. And one. Good. All right. This next one, leave it up. Hold high as you can. And then pulse. Go up, 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 up. And let it go. Ooh. Place your hands underneath you. Set it up for a little child's pose real fast. Good. All righty. And then bring it back on up. Tuck your toes under. And stand all the way up. Okie doke, we're gonna do that one more round, just a little bit shorter. So go ahead and grab your hand weights if you got them, or squeeze your fist, totally up to you. Alrighty, deadlift. So we're gonna move a little faster on the deadlift part. We're gonna try to stay slow on the, yes, raises part, the raises part. Words are hard. All right, roll your shoulders back, fold, lift, and down, good. Your palms face each other down. Squeeze together and up. Down, squeeze together and up. Down, squeeze together and up. Down, 
nice and slow squeeze together and up down squeeze together up three and up for two squeeze good one more time squeeze and up good all right bring your backs of your hands towards the front of your space palms face your thighs roll the shoulders back down squeeze the shoulders together down and up good dead lift row the other one was a lateral raise there's those words if you're looking for them down squeeze down and up again down squeeze down and up down squeeze down and up here we go for four down and up for three squeeze your shoulder blades together down stand up belly button into your spine for two squeeze down and up one squeeze down and up okay grab your towel or grab your band or your belts or whatever you got three Knees are together, feet are together or close. Roll your shoulders back. Go ahead and bend it down. Look at your ribs. Tuck your tailbone under a nice long spine here. Arms reach overhead, either go into your chest or right behind you. And extend, down, extend, down, extend, down, extend. Good. You got this. Ten more. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Squeeze those wings back. Okay, your elbows. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh. All right, let that go. Last time on the floor. Well, for our back. Okay. All right, down you go. Uh, not sure if I'm looking forward to the bar or not, but that's beside the point right now. All right, hands are right by your tops of your shoulders. Good. Lift up, squeeze it back, take it out, squeeze it in, and lower. Squeeze. Extend, squeeze and lower. Squeeze, extend, squeeze and lower. Squeeze, extend, squeeze and lower. Keep going. Up, take it out, take it in and down. Up, take it out, take it in and down. Good. Squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your butt. Extend in and down, lift, squeeze out, in and down. Again, engage everything, extend it out long, bring it back down one more time, up, extend in, bring it down. This time, squeeze, lift up, extend out and in, and out and in and out and in, out and in. You got this, get a little higher for five and four, three, two, and one, and lower. Ooh, stack those hands underneath your face, pressing on the tops of your feet and lifting that right leg up for 10, nine, Eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and 
of one. All right, next time you're gonna lift it up, hold, squeeze your bum, work through that foot, and then pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. <sighs> Maybe rock those hips side to side a little bit. Remember, you can always rest your forehead on your hands. I'll pass you through it. All right, press on the tops of your feet. Lift those kneecaps up off the ground. Here we go. Lift in the left leg for 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Lift it up and hold. And pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Take it down, Whew, take it back, child's pose. Oh. Nice, maybe walk your hands over to one side, stretch out your side body, your side shoulders and back. Walk it to the other side. And then bring it all the way up. And tuck your toes under. Stand up, find some water if you need it. We're gonna come to our bar. A little bit of cardio here, so breathe. Famous last words. All right, let me grab my, pull my bar away from the wall. All right, so I'm just starting with my bar right here. You can put your bar wherever, just so you can see the back of me. Gonna be a little more helpful. So I'll try to talk you through, but then I'm gonna be facing the wall. So I might get a little muffled, but you'll be able to see me. So, and that's all you really need. Move to the beat of your own drum, okay? So what's gonna happen is, if your hands are both on, you're gonna face your bar. You're gonna have your heels in, toes out, first position, yeah? So you're gonna reach over. So actually your, your feet are a little bit wide. All right, start in second position. So you're gonna reach over and down. So just point, keep your toe on the ground, one on each side. And then you're gonna reach over and kick out, reach over and kick out. So again, toe stays on the ground, toe on the ground, leg goes high, leg goes high. Okay, side, side, leg goes up, leg goes up. Good, so reach and reach. Leg goes up, leg goes up. Good, reach, reach, keep going. Up and up, good, toe tap and tap. Reach, reach, good, tap and tap again, reach. Reach, good, stop, stop, reach, as high as you can, within reason, right? Doesn't have to look like mine, always. Good, stop, stop, reach, reach, stop, stop. Reach, reach, tap, tap, reach, reach, tap, tap, reach, and reach. Good, excellent. Just gonna move my bot around. You can stay where you're at. You're, yours may not even move, right? Reality check. Okay, cool. So coming around, finding our bar. 
There's another one that's like semi-cardio here. Make sure you're not gonna kick anything. We're going back and to the side. So that's why I'm like checking my surroundings here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and come onto those forearms. Whenever you do that, make sure you're not like rounding here. You're not sinking here. Nice long spine. Cool. Just have to give you the refresher. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna kick it back. See, excuse me. You're gonna bend your knees. So you're gonna kick it back and then to the side. Yes, back to the side. Back to the side, back to the side. So you're trying to get that like straight out from your hip. If that does not work, you can always go a little lower here. Yes, boom and boom. Or maybe you can get it to go straight back, but you need to go lower on the side. That's fine. As long as you're challenging yourself. So try to get out nice and long. Belly button in. Try to keep your weight over your midline. So especially as you kick out to the side, there's this tendency to send your weight the other direction. Send that hip the other direction. Try not to do that. Use your muscles, not your momentum. Good, go for four, 30, excuse me, three, dun, dun, two, <laughs> la la, last one, kick it out and out to the side. Woo, high standing leg. I love, we're just going straight to the other side. You don't gotta move yourself. I just have to move myself. Wall, long leg, you know. All right, <laughs> find your forearms. <sighs> Say your prayers, whatever. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so here we are. Finding your forearms. Walk your feet. Bend your knee. Here we go. Extend back to the side. Wow. Back to the side. Back to the side. We'll see how long this leg lasts, right? you're counting reps, you can type it in the chat. If you're like watching this video later, don't go back and try to count both sides. Just do the workout, you got it. Don't think about it, just do. You gotta think all the rest of the time. Turn that thinking brain off and just move through the motions on this one, yeah? We'll use your brain here in a moment. Really reach through each time, reach and out. Good, reach and out. Good, hips stay down, reach and out, reach and out. We got this, five, four, three, belly button in. Two, a little higher, one, good, Woo. take it off, Ooh. let's stretch it out, this is going to be so painful, but so good, all right, figure four, cross over that first leg, Woo. sing it best you can, my hips are like yelling, oh, I don't know what I did to them yesterday, but here we are today. All right, whoa, stand back up. And just move to the other leg, sink that down. All righty, all that outer hip, butt, glute torture. I wish I could tell you it's over, but I'd be lying, so. 
All right. But that was pretty fun, yeah? All right. Well, especially all these like side gleams. Oh, that seems like such a distant thing right about now. All right. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back. We're gonna work your quads. Take some of that weight off your knees and then we'll get into our abs. So slowly moving from the back to the front. All right, here we go. I don't know what that was. Take your one leg up, point your toe. Here we go. See if you can not use your hands and just pulse that knee higher. Good, so try to keep your back up right as well. If you need the bar, it's right there. Otherwise, you don't, right? All right, knee up, all right. And then you're just gonna take it open to the side. So I'm gonna put one finger on, just give me a little bit of stability here, but maybe you do it without. Yeah, okay, just take it open to the side. And a little higher up on that hip here, yes, around here. So we just worked like right around here. Now we're working right around here. Good. Still so trying to stay up nice and tall. Try to keep your hips steady. So you can even bring your hand to the opposite hip to keep it in place. So your hips aren't opening with you, right? Just that leg is moving. Trying to keep that knee hip level if you can. If you need to bring it down here, that's fine. Otherwise, keep it up. And your foot's just not even on that bottom leg. So don't even think about it. Good, alrighty, knee is up. Ankle is open to the side, so you're in like this attitude, but my knee is still facing straight on. My ankle just open to the side, yes? Foot down, ankle up, foot down, ankle up, foot down, ankle up, yes? So just little pulses, the ankle over to the side. Might be like, screw the chair, I need to hold on here. Try not to, if you need to, you can. You can also take it lower, but try to keep that knee up. Should be feeling this on the inside and the outside for that matter. All right, keep it at that attitude. So at that nice angle, and then you're just gonna send that leg across, across. Again, try to keep your hips here. Just that leg goes across. We got this. Oh, yep, there's that whole leg. It's all on fire. Good, oh, let it go. Go ahead and find your foot and just let that hip drop. Excellent, stay here if you want to do an assisted dancer pose. You can take that leg up nice and high. And then bring it back. Take that foot behind you. Reach up and over. Good. All righty. Other side. Cool. Here we go. I'm done. All right. Ready? Not ready. Take your leg up. Point your toe. And just pulses. This is where it, it pays to have some good jams going on. Are you guys those people that like you drive in silence? Like, I know people like that. I live with one. So weird. Like, you have a radio. Your life could be so full of magic. But I'm sure there's also like some merit to just being able to breathe and be present while you drive entirely on what you're doing. It's probably a really good idea. Unless you have road rage. Then audiobooks really save your life. All right. All 
All right, make sure that you're not depending on that hinge. You don't actually need it for this for the most part, right? Trying to use that balance. If you need to, have fingers on. Otherwise, just chill. Chill as much as you can while your quad is on fire. I even put my hand down and I seem to, I seem to rely on it. So this is me trying to not, what am I doing with my hands? Okay, one finger on, keep your hips where they're at. Just that leg moves open to the side. Again, don't touch your bottom leg with your toes. You don't need it. Keep those hips facing forward, just the legs moving. This is where we would put like a stuffed animal behind our kneecap or something, that towel that you have, or that house pillow, couch pillow, that's what they're really good for. You haven't noticed by my living room, unless it can be used as workout equipment, it doesn't get to stay. How's it going? Chilling? Roll your shoulders back. Sit up nice and tall. Try to get that knee a little higher, or at least hip height. You don't have to make it higher than that. Good. All right. Knee stays forward. Ankle comes up to the side and down. Up and down. Up and down. You may not need your hands for this, or you can have a finger on, or you can have your hands on. Work on your balance. Save us some time in the future, aka okay, like the near future. It's a leg day, by the way. Did you get that memo? All right, keep your knee up, keep that foot at an angle. Here we go, make it across. Try to keep your hips where you're at, just that leg is going across. Yep, I know, it hurts, I believe you. One of those mind over matter. If you need to like give it a shake out, you can, otherwise stick with it. Can I get that knee up? How's that, how's that working for you? Oh, Lord. All right. Gotta drop it, pick it up again. Pick that hip up dramatically, drop it down. Good. Just enjoy this nice stretch. And then if you'd like, you can come into an assisted dancer, assisted meaning you're using your bar. And then bring it back, step that foot behind you, reach up and over. Good, all right, move your chair. If it's on your mat like me, just move it away. All right, we got a little bit of core and then like, wow, time flew by, yeah. Okay, so, we're gonna come into a plank, regular plank, not side plank. Coming into a regular plank, you can be on your hands or on your elbows. I suggest your elbows, but you know, if your elbows are not your friend, then be on your hands. All right, if you're like me, there's my friend. I'm sorry, I don't really know what to tell you. All right, if you can find a plank on your toes, do so. If you need to be on your knees, that's fine. If you're on your knees, you're gonna hold it. And in fact, if you're on your knees, you're just gonna to work to lift one knee at a time, put it back down, other knee at a time, put it back down. If you're on your toes, you're gonna drop one hip, and up, other hip and up, one and up, other and up. So nice rainbow hips here, just dropping side to side.
You're gonna drop both hips down, find Sphinx pose, okay, put your elbows underneath you, and you just get to chill like you're on the beach. Right? I don't even know if sure that's off of a music video. All right, and then place, press into your hands, turn it up, bring your knees right underneath you. Walk your hands out for puppy dog pose or heart to floor pose. Leave your hips over your knees and let your chest melt to the ground. Good, bring it back up. Okay, bring it up to your knees. If you need to like fold up your mat one more time, go for it. Or you can just leave it there. Hurry. Tuck your toes or leave them untucked. Take those arms out to the side and lean back. Keep a nice straight line. <laughs> just when you thought we were done with those quads. And then take it back just when you thought you are done with your shoulders. Here we go. Take it back. Good. And you're going to go out and over. Out and over, out and over, out and over. Four, three, two, and one. Woo hoo, wow, we just did everything together. We call that a time saver, people. All right, go ahead and find a lunge. Enjoy said lunge. You can have your hands on the ground. I'm just tired, my arms are big. Good. Step your back foot in a little bit so your heel comes down. Try to straighten your front leg. Send your front hip back. Your back hip to the front. Breathe. Lovingly known as pyramid pose in the yoga community. I got rid of the food pyramid. Did you hear? All right, bend your front knee. Step it up. Move into your other lunge or your lunge on the other side. Yes. You no longer have the food pyramid it's called my plate. Look it up, it's interesting. But fruit and vegetables is the way to go. And that's what you really need to know. And instead of meat, it's protein. Anyways, I'm not gonna walk you through it, but I kind of just did. All right, slide your back foot in a little bit. Straight your front leg as most, as most, as best you can. All right, bend your knees, step it on up. Good, take your feet nice and wide. Awesome. We're gonna come back to that beginning move. So feet are nice and wide, heels in, toes out. Not tired or anything. All right, stretch over and bring it back. Stretch over, bring it back. Stretch over and stay. Good, chest is open to the side. And then bring it back. Good, other side. Stretch over, bring it back. Stretch over, bring it back. Stretch over and hold. Chest is open to the side. And then bring it back. Excellent, walk those feet in. Feet are underneath your hips, side to side, just kind of wrangle it out. And then we did work your back a lot. So let's take those arms up, grabbing one hand, stretch over. And back up, switch out your hands. Good, reach around your hands behind you, and release your hands, or you can grab your forearms. Oh, really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Maybe let your head drop, and then release. Yeah, have it go side to side like we did in the beginning. It all comes full circle. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. All right, here's the moment you've been waiting for. Inhale. Nice work. Bow. All the things. All right, here we go. All right, have a great rest of your day, okay? And I will see you back here next time.